With today's modern technology, some planes are capable of flying incredibly long distances without stopping. Have you ever wondered how far modern commercial planes can fly? How long can the US president's plane fly and can these commercial planes cover a complete circle around Earth? The type of aircraft, the efficiency of its engines and the weight of payload play a significant role in determining the range an aircraft can cover without refueling. Weather conditions, particularly headwinds and tailwinds can also affect the range of a plane. In addition to considering these factors, airlines also factor in reserve fuel requirements. The previous long-range king was the Boeing 777-200LR, where LR stands for long range, which can typically fly about 15,800 kilometers with about 300 passengers. However, in 2005, a Boeing 777-200LR demonstrator aircraft flew the longest commercial plane flight while carrying 8 pilots and 27 passengers on board. The plane covered a distance of about 20,000 kilometers eastward from Hong Kong to London Heathrow in about 23 hours, as opposed to a normal westward routing for that sector, which is much shorter at 9,600 kilometers. The Earth is roughly a sphere with a circumference of about 40,000 kilometers. If you started from any point and traveled straight in any direction, there will come a point where you start moving closer towards the starting point. This distance is approximately 20,000 kilometers, which is half of the Earth's circumference. So this means with a few passengers and crew, you can visit any place on Earth in a single flight with the Boeing 777-200LR. But there is another plane which has an even greater range and efficiency than the 777. The Airbus A350-900 ULR, where the ULR stands for Ultra Long Range, holds the title of the longest range commercial airliner currently in operation, with a whopping range of over 18,000 kilometers with about 300 passengers. With lower passengers and cargo weight, it can fly even further. What sets the A350-900ULR apart is its lightweight carbon fiber fuselage and advanced aerodynamics, which enhance fuel efficiency. Additionally, the aircraft's Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines are optimized and efficient enough for such long-haul flights. When it comes to the currently operational long-distance flights, the Singapore Airlines Flight 21 holds the record for the longest flight by distance. This non-stop flight covers a distance of approximately 15,300 kilometers from Singapore to New York. The flight duration is around 18 hours and 40 minutes, making it one of the most demanding journeys in the aviation industry. The Flight 21 operates using the Airbus A350-900 ULR aircraft. Well, we might be very close to seeing the world's first 20-hour flight. This would be a direct flight from Sydney to London. The flight will be conducted by Qantas Airways and the plane will travel a distance of approximately 17,000 kilometers. You might be wondering, what's keeping us from flying even further? Well, there are several limiting factors. The main issue is with fuel. The further you want to fly, the more fuel you need and fuel is heavy. The more fuel you carry, the more fuel you need to carry that fuel. Experts cite flights between 3,000 and 5,000 kilometers as the most efficient. This is based on fuel burned per kilometer and of course the type of aircraft, meaning any non-stop ultra-long flight emits more carbon than the combined release from the same distance when broken up by traveling two shorter journeys with a stopover. So now to the last question, how long can the US presidential plane fly? The presidential US Air Force One can stretch its time in the air for days. This is because it has in-flight refueling facility. Some say it can stay in the air for about three days, any longer is restricted by engine oil limitation. Others were of the opinion that water on board may limit its time in the air. The current Air Force One is a specially configured Boeing 747-200B, while it has a range of just 12,500 kilometers, with in-flight refueling, it can even circle the globe.